Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. Now, last time we came to the Siren of the Stars and we explored it, went through all the guest cabins and all that stuff. Looting as only a loot goblin such as myself can do. Before we spoke to some of the patrons and we found out that Sheila Holbrook was the one responsible for the award that we had to find. Uh, and we eventually, after a little bit of persuasion with her, got the pass and were able to get it out of the purser's office. We then came and spoke to the patrons again and discussed Larry Dombrowski. And it turns out he's been spending a lot of time with a lady called Claudia Swist. And uh, we basically went and talked to her about it. And she said, oh yeah, they've been scamming Galbank with a gentleman called Gabriel Vera. And uh, unfortunately, Larry has made a big mistake by um, basically skimming off the top. So, let's get into it. Okay, so I believe we need to um, do some manipulation of the uh, Have you tried the all right, of the life safety systems. So, I sh what's in here? Ooh. I did do a little bit more looting off camera just so you wouldn't have to watch me because I know it's not exactly very exciting watching a loot goblin in in her best environment. Okay, Andreja, you are at my dear. Is anything on these? Are these shelves? These are shelves. Okay. All right. Oh, no, it's a clamp. Let me tell you, there are a lot of cred sticks in this, like, bar area, and you can just take them, which is nice. Okay. Ooh. Another thing that I did find, actually, before we continue, is there was a book um, that I picked up during my lootage. Uh, and I can't remember what it was called now. Dee, 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 dee. Let's see if I can find it. Race to the Heavens. And it's um, given us a marker for a Dubai monument on Earth. So I think we should visit Earth, you know. See what it's all about. I know we've been to Earth once, but I don't know. Be nice if we could, if we could like, sort the Earth out, wouldn't it? You know, what's in here? Clear. Whoa. Oh, I thought I was a dead body then. I was like, oh my God, what's happening in here? Uh... Okay. No. Veterans Deep Recon Space Helmet. Uh, I mean, it's got some value, but... Nah. Nah. It's just more weight to carry. That's the thing. Right. Oh. I thought we could do something there. Okay. Hello? And who are you? These newer vessels more or less run autonomously. Which doesn't leave much for the crew to do around here. No, but it's an easy life for you, isn't it? You do what 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 you want then. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Alright, she didn't seem too fussed about that. Let's try and get in. And we're in. I don't know what's actually in here, but well, whatever's in here is ours now. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Liquid cooled advanced ground crew space helmet. Uh, decent value again, but I don't know. Just more weight to. Ooh, hello. Can we can we swipe those? Thank you. Andre, just some of your some of your. Well, that's the heretic stuff. Ooh. What? I'm encumbered. God bless it, Andre. I always enjoy these moments. If there's anything you need, I. I appreciate our little discussions, you know. I mean, it wasn't really a discussion, Andrage. I'm sorry. It was a, it was a hold all this stolen stuff for me <laughs> kind of conversation. All right. Um, yeah. I wasn't doing anything. Nothing at all. What have you got there? Snacks. I like a snack. All right. Guess it's through here. There. Oh, look at this. This all right. is well maintained, to be sure, but mm -hmm. obviously the credits have all been spent on the areas the guests actually see. Okay, let's. Uh, so this is Chief Engineer Sandin. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't mm -hmm. expect to see you down here. Oh, sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? He seems quite helpful. Um. Kind of lonely down here, isn't it? I'm gonna try and be yeah, nice. A little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner class comfort down here. 
Don't get me wrong. The quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work and all that, but I'd rather work on the bridge. Yeah, I get that. I wouldn't mind it, but there you go. So, um, I really need to get into the life support area. Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. Well, hmm. Oh. Maybe, I don't know, should we try Starship Engineering, maybe? As a student of engineering myself, I'd love to get a look at that system. Ah, you're a fellow techie, huh? Uh-huh. I can respect that. Cool. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away? Certainly can. You know what, dude? Do you know what? Um, what do you think of Rockoff, yeah? Honestly? He's a seasoned ship captain. He told me he was a long hauler for years, and the experience shows. Mm. Only thing is, he's always talking about trade deals and plans for get-rich-quick schemes. It's all the guy ever thinks about. Yeah. Why he decided to be a star liner captain, I'll never know. It's almost like he craves being around money. Maybe that's Tell it. Tell you what, though. For someone that loves credit so much, he sure doesn't mind gambling them when we play cards. Hmm. Well, do you know what, dude? You're Feel quite reasonable. Look around, but don't mess with any of the controls. Thank you, sir. You've been a, a delight. I'm just going to... Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Lockdown procedures. Trident operations manual. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. If any life support unit fails, an automated emergency lockdown procedure will be placed immediately into effect. All passengers will be ordered to calmly proceed to their cabins until such time as the captain of the ship deems the emergency to be resolved. If the captain has been incapacitated, please recognise the proper chain of command as per Trident Ma Operations Manual, yada yada yada. In addition, all internal door lock mechanisms for passenger cabins and all mustering areas will be set to unlocked to allow for uninhibited crew access. Emergency lighting and audio announcements will remain in effect for the duration of the event. Ha, huh, so we needn't have picked our way... Oh, screw it. We got the experience. Emergency procedures. In the event of an Alpha LSU-01 life support failure, Beta LSU-02 will automatically activate. In the highly unlikely event that the Beta LSU-02 has failed, Gamma LSU-03 will automatically activate. If a catastrophic failure has occurred and all three units are offline, an automated order to deploy environment suits will be broadcast throughout the ship. Please contact the Chief Engineer on duty for further details or refer to Section 20 in the Trident Operations Manual. Okay. Life support access. Ooh, there you go. No, but ooh. Disable the life support system. Yes, fine. Uh, life support access open. Warning. For safety reasons, life support access cannot be sealed without approval from the Chief Engineer on duty. See so Trident Operations Manual. Blah, 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 blah. For details. Okay. So we're in. We're in, dude. Ooh. Anything else in here? So do we have to disable all three of them? In a specific order? Or do we just do it? Uh, do we need to have our spacesuit on for this? Okay. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Maybe we'd better put it back on. Just just, just in case. Because I don't really want to die. <laughs> if, if the air goes out or something. I don't know. I don't know whether this will affect us or not. May I have your attention, please? The captain has declared okay. a ship-wide emergency. <laughs> please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. Well, you, you're very chilled. there until you receive further instructions. All right. Well, we looked through all this, didn't we, I think? Yes, we did. Okay, all right, Andreja. Uh, oh, well, maybe I didn't need to put my, my suit back on, but I don't know, maybe I did. I just don't want to take the risk, you know what I mean? Okay, this way. Oh, look at this. It's empty. Is there anything else? <laughs> Much nicer in here now. Plenty of room. Yeah. Um. Yeah, plenty of room, Andreja. Plenty of uh, grub as well. Oops. Anything else here? Any more goods? Anything worthy of note? No. You see, I did notice there was, like, crates of wine and stuff behind the bar and things. I don't know whether they're worth anything, but... Do you know what? Let's just go and find Larry. Okay, Larry, here we go. Here we come, my brother. Everybody's gone. Wow. Well. 
All right, All right, lads. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going, going to see somebody. I've got to see a man about. Have I been in here? What was? Oh no, I looked on her PC. There was nothing of any value or interest. Is he in here? Is this it? No, nope, that's Gabriel Vera. Let's talk to this dude, Andreja. Well, all right. You, sir. Are you going to talk? To? Hello. Oh, he's got to stand up first, of course, of course, of course. And all right. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. Oh no, nothing to do with it's me. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. Hmm. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe we try because he is UC Sistef, isn't he? So I'm undercover with UC Sistef, and I need everything you've got on Dombrovsky. You're working for Ikande's little oh, anti-pirating outfit. So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? Well, yeah, Claudia says you've been cheated out of your fair share of the Galbrank. Galbank job by Dumbros Dumbroski. Yeah. Claudia said that. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Damn it. That means my money's already gone. Mm-hmm. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. Not if I can help it. I'd love to see the bastard fry. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. <sighs> um... Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what? I'm just going to pay him. Screw it. At least I walk away with something. There you are. All right. You have yourself a deal. Here. With this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Good stuff. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Oh, 100%, dude. No problem. No problem at all. Thank you very much. All right. Um... I'm not going to ask him about joining the fleet. better tell Dombrowski to run. I will. if you don't kill him, I will. I don't plan to kill him. That's fine. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I mean, 2,500 credits. Given our current, you know, finance. Hello. Drop in the ocean. All right, let's have a little listen to this. So it's Galbank. Ah, ha, ha. Here we go. Uh, Galbank plan evidence. So, oh. did it work? Not yet. But the transaction is in progress as we speak. You should expect your profits from our venture soon. You must be patient. No way, Larry. This is not what we agreed. You said the money would be in our accounts by the first of the month. Give it a rest. It isn't like we're making regular withdrawals. If things aren't done carefully, it'll trip an audit. Is that what you want? Of course not. But we're risking our asses here. And we've seen what? Maybe five... 8% tops? We were promised a third of the final figure. And, as promised, when all is said and done, that's exactly what you'll receive. You must understand, we're absconding with an inordinately vast amount of capital from Galbank's coffers. Eventually, the shortfall will be discovered. As Claudia has so eloquently stated, if the transactions aren't siphoned at a reasonable rate, the audit team will be dispatched and our plan ruined. Give it time, my friend. You'll get your share. A third for each of us, as promised. Mm. A third of 500,000 credits. Whoa! Can't you just taste it? I think I'm going to head straight for Neon with my share. Put myself up at the hotel Foli and blow a shitload of money at the Astral Lounge. You'll come with me, won't you, Larry? I don't want to spend all that cash alone. Ooh. Of course, my darling. Oh, God. I can't think of a finer way to spend our time together. Oh, look, I'm going to lay this all on the line. You have two more weeks to make this happen, or we're going to have a problem. Two weeks, Dombrowski. That's it. Hmm. Okay. Dombrowski sounds a little bit like Bellathor. What was his name? Stephen Russell. 
That was his name. I think he did it. I think he voiced Nick Valentine as well, if memory serves me, in Fallout. If memory does serve me, and it doesn't often, so you never know. Uh, Gabriel Vera's transaction log. Okay. The slate contains a detailed accounting of all the illicit transactions that were covered up by Larry Dombrowski. Well, I thought we'd get to see, like, maybe some, some totals of stuff that they were doing. All right. We'll, uh... We'll go, um... Oh, we can go up this way, can't we? Ha ha ha! Perfect. Oh, steady. Aha! Larry. Passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Sure they are. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. All right. Remain there until you receive further instructions. There you go. Okay, Larry. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. Uh-huh. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. <sighs> well... Hmm... How do you know I was involved? Yeah. You don't actually believe that I'd venture into such precarious criminal territory without a proper bird's eye view of the situation, do you? I'm uncertain why you become entangled in this spider's web, but this situation demands swift and resolute action. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a negotiation, to be honest. <laughs> Au contraire, my misguided friend there's a bargain that needs to be hammered out and you will listen to the facts before we proceed says who first it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud galbank the means and the method perhaps but not the motive and second i'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. Ooh, Ooh I feel a bit dirty having just heard that. Um, uh, Aha, well, yeah, it's an amazing trick, Professor. I pride myself on having an intensely thorough education, though I'd hardly call myself a professor. Though I'm sure that your compliment also meant you were having trouble understanding what I've been saying. Not a drop. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Could there be much more of this? My head is starting to hurt. Oh, it's all right, Andreja, my goodness. Okay, uh, unless you want copies of this posted everywhere, you'll be kicking in some extra cash as well. Do you know what? Maybe we should. This looks like a slimy little swine anyway. Ugh. Quite a shame that you need to resort to blackmail to arrive at the point of equity in our discussion. However, I will acquiesce to your addendum. It appears Ooh. we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course, I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. Ugh. I could just shoot him. Look at that there. Like the Predator movie. Three dots, kablam. But do you know what? Whatever, dude. See you later. Come on, Andreja, let's get off this wretched ship. There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just Oh, I'm not alarmed, believe me. I think if I were any karma, I would potentially be dead. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. Mm-hmm. Um Yeah, I got what I wanted. 
I'm glad one of us did. I'm just hoping you'll put in a good word for me with Delgado. Otherwise, I've risked my career for nothing. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm not sure that's a good idea. <sighs> of course, of course. I understand completely. <clears throat> anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Tover Beach. Tover I wonder what that means. What do you call me, Tover Beach? Well, yeah, what's that? Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Nonsense. Yeah, don't worry about it. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes Yevgeny. good on his deals. Always. Yevgeny. Well, I suppose mm. this is where we part company. Uh -huh. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Alright, dude. I mean, we might. We we might get him back in the fleet. He's not too bad, is he? A bit of a moaner. Bit of a moaner. But, meh. Whatever. Alright, Andreja, let's, um, let's get off this blooming ship. Get out of here. How do we get out? What? Down, down there somewhere? What? What the hell? Yevgeny. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Was there anything in here? Did I look in here? Ba -da -da -da. Thank I you. suppose that is ours now. You're damn and? right. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, I want the bell. No, no, you don't. You don't want the bell. Move. All right. Um, let's actually. All passengers. May I have your attention, please? Don't think there's any. The captain has declared a shipwide emergency. No. Through here. Please okay. report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Should we? Should we? Should we pinch some of this food? Just because it looks kind of nice. Ooh, lemons, limes. They like the shepherd's pie on this ship. I mean, I like shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie and cottage pie. Mochi. I think it's mochi. Is it mochi or mochi? I can't remember how you say it. Anyway, very nice. Right, let's get out. Let's go. So now we need to go to New Atlantis. Da 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 da. Where's my ship? What? Down. There do we go down this way? Did we? Did we? Oh yeah, this is where we were. A grilled cheese. I do like a grilled cheese. Okay. Anything else here before we disappear? I think we literally went in all these places, didn't we? And what did we? I'm sorry, I know. The loot goblin is strong with this one. Very strong. Unavoidable pill bottles. What? No. What's that? Kiefer? I like Kiefer as well. Hill bottle. Eh. Anything else in here? Showers. Communal showers, my god. These are pretty. Pretty pictures. Pretty pictures and a pretty lady. Miss Andreja. Beautiful. There we go. Just one last look before we depart, because I get the feeling we won't be able to come back, which is kind of a shame. All passengers. May I have Wait, can we go in there? Please. In here? The captain has declared oh. a ship-wide emergency. <laughs> Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until Come you on. receive further instructions. There must be a way. There must be a way. I want to fly it. I want to be the captain. Can this be my new ship, please? Well, God bless it, Barbie. I think what's what's up here? Oh, I, oh no, we haven't been here. Look. Bloody cred stick just left there. What's that about? Who leaves a cred stick just lying around? Apparently I do. Biosuppressant. 
What else is up here? Oh, and that's the uh, that's the passengers' quarters, right? Okay. Well, I suppose it's um, time to leave then. Don't think there's anything else that we we want from up here. I went through all these. Hey, folks. I wonder what the captain's thing be in his whoa, be in his um, room. No. Never mind. Right, let's um, let's leave then. How do we? You are entering United Colony. Ah. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Go for it. And complete. Enjoy your stay in New Atlantis. I will. There you go. I uh, stopped by the old um, wolf system and offloaded some stuff, so no contraband. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, heat beaches can turn into what? Terror Yeah. Giant carapace encrusted tanks. Yeah, they're horrible. Enjoy it. It's all fun. I also realised while I was selling that I, I haven't been using um the was it this? I think it was this, wasn't it? Because one's trick shot and one is um Oh, I am still using trick shot. Ha! Ah. And one is keel hauler. And I quite fancy trying out keel hauler. It looks quite cool. All right, what am I stuck on for crying out loud? All right. Put the put the old weapon away. Right, let's let's get over there. Excuse me, folks. Coming on through. Thank you very much. See if we can um, get these archive thingies and maybe get our hand in the till just a little bit. You know, we are a pirate after all. Excuse me. Oh, Sergeant Yumi is looking for me again, is he? Good lord. Why does everybody want a piece? For grief! Alright. Good old, uh, good old gal bank here. Lair! Don't mind me, I'm just... Um... The lives of nearly every individual in the settled systems are so heavily influenced by what goes on in this building. Yeah, money talks, so they say. Money talks, coins just make a racket. There you are. Deal with the Galbank guy. I have to deal with him? Can I? Should I maybe have some persuasion on my side? I know my persuasion's pretty good now, but, you know. Doesn't help to have a little boost, does it? <coughs> Doesn't not help. Sorry, what am I talking about? Shut up. All right. Hello. Welcome to the... <clears throat> the uh, Galbank archives. May I see your credentials, please? Are you all right? Uh, yeah. Just one moment while I verify. All right. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Doesn't bother you that I'm a woman, but that's fine. I'm getting some strange vibes off you. Something, yeah, something must be wrong. Shh, they'll hear us. Who? Look, Ecliptic busted in here and said something about letting you walk into the archives and then they're going to jump you. Did they? I'm supposed to let you in and then get the heck out of here. They said if I didn't do exactly what they said, they'd kill me. Just be careful. I don't even know how many of them are hiding in there. You know who did this, don't you? That moaning mini. Bloody Mathis. All right. Well, do you know what? I'm game. Let's go for it. Anyone in? Leo? Into the archives, really? Well, I'm not seeing any of them. Oh, all right. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Oh, God bless it. Okay, this is pretty decent, this weapon. NGL. Whoa, alright, alright, alright. 
Oh, oh! Okay, I didn't really mean to do that, but that's fine. Alright, dude. Can we get up there? Is there a means to get up there? Who are you? Oh, you're the guard. Alright. Well, you're alright. You're fine. Okay. You die today. They do die today. Alright. Screw it. Oh god, I missed. Completely missed. Come out of there, dude. Oh, Andreja, she did it. God bless her. You can't see anything. How can you... How does being shot in the arm blind you? That's my question to the floor. Oh god, if I could aim properly, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Hello? What? Hello? That was really weird. Never seen that before. Once again, we are triumphant. That was very strange. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. That was weird, Andre. Am I right or am I right? Alright. Oof. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you. In fact, I'll take the recon still as well. Why not? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Dude, are you alright? Security man. I hope he's alright. I hope he didn't get shot. Dude? Are you... Are you... Are you here? Bud? What the... Where did he go? He was in here, wasn't he? I hope he's alright. Dude? Ah... Uh, okay. Make us a coffee, Andreja, will you? My god. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe he just um, maybe he just left. That's fine. We'll um, we will continue doing what we were here to do, which was um, get the info and rob this place blind, as only we can. Really, not a single cred stick in the gaff. What kind of hocus pocus is this? Well. Hmm. We'll have a look at that in a minute. I just want to make sure that we've got everything. I know what you're thinking. Eve, for crying out loud, the looting is its out of hand. And I can't help myself. Like I say, it's a condition. Loot goblin-itis. Oops. Alright. Hmm. Data place disclaimer. By accessing archive materials, you are hereby consenting to observing proprietary materials belonging to Galbank and its subsidiaries. Any information contained within this system is for the express use of Gal Galbank employees only. Sharing this information with entities outside of the Galbank ecosystem will result in immediate termination and potential criminal prosecution. Any concerns regarding these rules should be directed to Galbank Legal in New Atlantis. Okay. Transponder information. All Galbank transports have been fitted with the CBR type encrypted transponder beacons. These beacons broadcast, broadcast a predetermined long range unique signature ping using high frequency hyperbursts, scattered arrays. The arrays ensure that the beacons are always broadcasting at maximum spread to assist any specially equipped search vessels. CBR transponders feature the latest in encryption technology, boasting military grade ultra bit encryption. Fully cycling crypto modulation and a cascading frequency spectrum. In order to properly track a target transport, please submit a request to the security office to receive a tracking cipher. The transponders operate via an independent self contained power source that allows them to remain detection capable for up to 250 years. Note that as the life of the power source declines, the broadcast reception radius will be gradually reduced. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, the serendipity. Cred tank load. Ooh, 1.76 million credits? Wow, last known position, unknown, full transponder lost. Oh, that's a shame. I thought we might have been able to find some, but ooh, hello. Bannock. 
planetary location, Bannock 4. Ooh, Bannock 4. Okay, so that's where we're going to be going for that. Can we get anything else here? No. What about this one? The Supremacy. Sol. Saturn. Hmm, maybe we might be able to get the Saturn... The Supremacy on Saturn. We'll have a look into that. I don't think these had anything like that, did they? No. So, Saturn and... Bannock. Saturn and Bannock. Great stuff. Well, there you have it, folks. There you bloody well have it. So we need to go to Bannock for the legacy and Saturn for the other one. Ha ha! Well, all right. Let's, um... Let's, let's get out of here, then. Seeing as we've done our bit, said our piece, done our thing. Thank you very much. I don't know where the security guard went, but wherever they've gone, that's fine. Okay, let's get out. Okay, well, put our weapon away. Alright, well, do you know what? We are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time, we will go and... I think we have to go and speak to Delgado first. But then we will head to Bannock. And then we will also head to Saturn. Because... I want to find that other transport because there might be some coinage in there. And you know me, I love me some coinage. So, until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourself.